This event is the centre of the uh, University Surf Club calendar. It's when they all come from all parts of the UK to compete against each other in freezing cold water, in windy waves, but making the most out of it and having a great time doing it. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. It feels really good. Um, it's really nice, like nice atmosphere and kind of, yeah, it feels good. Don't get put off by the cold. <laughs> It's really not that bad and it's just fun, like, I've never known anyone not enjoy surfing. Although Warsaw has all the hustle and bustle of a modern European capital, Poland's infrastructure is only gradually recovering from chronic underinvestment during the communist years. The roads in particular are in a terrible state, not to mention the thousands of kilometres of gas and water main which are going to need replacing. And that's where an engineering company based in Somerset can help. Lewis Engineering from Frome make high quality components for the trenchless tunnelling industry, which enables contractors to install or replace pipes without digging holes. Once they've drilled out a tunnel, they have to pull the pipe back through it. And that's where Lewis comes in. A towing head is a device for providing a secure attachment to the front of polyethylene pipe. When one turns the eye bolt, the grippers expand and the teeth grip the inside diameter of the pipe. To install it, one simply pushes it into the front of the pipe, turn the eye bolt, torque it up, and there, a secure connection. Good afternoon, it's now 12 midday. This is Michael Checker on BBC Radio Devon, live today from the beautiful town of Dartmouth. Rather than just sit in a, in a studio insulated from the, the world about us, what I wanted to do was get out this week and get the program out on the road, meet people face to face, hear what it is that matters in people's lives. What better place to come than Dartmouth? Brings um, revenue to the town of Kingswear and Dartmouth. People it's a, are using it. There's two of them and they're only little. They take what, about eight, ten cars they each? They take eight, ten, eight, eight each, but we're running them in unison, so we actually ridding the queue of 16 at a time. It really does keep you on your toes. Yeah, liaising with my colleagues, uh, Julie and Gary, uh, co-presenting with Julie, Gary engineering the program here, listening to the studio, talking back to me in, in one ear, listening to the guest in front of you and hopefully paying attention to what they're saying as well. It does keep you on your toes. Turkey is a country of 70 million people with an economy worth just over $300 billion. Manufacturing accounts for about a quarter of that. Agriculture and service industries are the other big owners. Turkey's economy has grown by about 7% in each of the last three years, and that's having an effect thousands of miles away from Istanbul. At first glimpse, the Bosphorus might seem a long way from the River Dart in South Devon, but water has played a crucial role in the fortunes of South Devon company Valeport. Based in Totnes, the firm employs 35 people, who make marine measuring equipment that's sold all over the world. Our, our market isn't, isn't West Country based at all. Uh, we predominantly uh, export 65 to 70 percent of what we manufacture. Um, in terms of uh, main market areas, uh, Far East, Middle East, uh, Europe as a whole, uh, and in the UK it would be predominantly uh, the, uh, the North Sea oil and gas industry. Valeport specialise in making robust instruments that use the latest technology and can withstand working in extremely harsh environments. They're used to measure water flows, heights of tides, speed of currents and other crucial information for those in peril on the sea, including the Royal Navy. Providing that kind of edge is exactly what it takes to succeed in the Turkish market. Turkey is a very competitive market for, uh, for, for basic manufacturing. What we need to do is offer them the new product, tomorrow's product today, give them some clues as to where this development will go. 